In this lesson, we're gonna be exploring how to control WS2812 LED. These LEDs are addressable, so we can control how to light up each LED segment. If you're excited, then let's begin exploring. diagram of how we're going to set up the WS2812 B that we got online so there is a good document that you can look at the Adapruth site regarding the NeoPixels so NeoPixels is how the Adapruth uh, names the WS2812 B LED so, I have here basically four components that we're going to be needing. I have here the Raspberry Pi Zero, the Z74AHCT125 ship level converter, the breakout module for the micro USB interface, and the WS2812B LED ring that we got online. So, we need the 74A HCT125 because the power needed by the LED ring here requires a little bit higher than the output of the Pi Zero. As you know, Pi Zero can only output 3.3 volts. So we need to ship it a little bit. So that's why we have here the 74 AHCT125. And then at the same time, we're not using the power coming from the Raspberry Pi Zero 5 volts. But rather, we're going to supply a different power coming from the uh, USB charger that I have here. Okay? So... Before we continue, I think it's a good thing to just check the data sheet of the 74AHC125. Uh, I look around here and we'll be able to see the pinout of the 14 pin 74AHC125. I think when reading the documents, we'll just need to understand this function function table. Wherein, as you can see, there is a, an output control per, per each of the pins that we're, we're gonna be needing. And then the input and the output. So if we put the, uh, a low signal on the any of the OE, output enable uh, pin, then if we, the input is low, then the output is low but if the output is high then it will be should converted into high also so in our case here we'll just be needing to wire up five pins which are the the first buff the first buffer here the output enable 1a 1a and 1y and 1e and the ground and the bcc pin okay so from the ADAP root side, we'll just need to follow along with how they were able to uh, wire in the new uh, the WS2812. So the WS uh, GPIO18, by the way, sorry, is connected to the pin 1A of the 74AHC125. While the this signal will be ship converted by the one Y pin of the 74 AHC T125, so that's why the D in input of the WS280 ring is placed in here, and I have here the the other connection, so the power supply ground from the breakout. 
I have connected it here and connected it the the ground rail also I connected it to the ground the the ground out pin out of the 74 AHC 125 and the first output enable pin and then at the same time to have a common ground I connected pin 6 to the ground rail also while the power supply of the the power supply ground is connected also to the ground the ground rail of the WS2812 same thing also with the 74 AHCT125 BCC pin so the BCC pin is here oh sorry it should be connected in here then let's connect the red okay and then the power supply 5 volts also is connected to the WS2812 BDD, BDD pin or BCC pin also okay so I think that's all for the, uh, the wiring schematics thank you so I have finished wiring up the schematic the following are the four components that I have mentioned here the Pi Zero the 748C125 ship converter the WS2812 ring LED that I got I just use a cobbler in here so that it would be easy to insert the connections in the breadboard and a cobbler wire also and I'm powering the Pi Zero using this power bank right here okay so that's basically the component that uh, I'll be needing including the, the power the external power coming from the micro USB interface I just use normal cell phone charger here to power this WS2812 LED so let's go on with the code and then see what will happen okay so we now go to the how we're going to power on our WS2812 ring LED so I'll be using this library called the rpy-ws281x-python there are actually a lot of libraries that you can use to be able to power up the WS2812 but we'll, we'll explore the, those different items in different library in different uh, time but for now we're just using this one so according to this doc, uh, github document we need to install it by following this command so that's what we're going to do okay so we open our putty then we connect to our raspberry pi zero okay then we'll just have to execute this command and replace the value from pip to pip3 since we're gonna be using python3 in executing the command then we we'll just have to wait while the system is installing the library in my case I have already installed it in my pi0 so that's why we are seeing this command this uh, message here so after doing that one we just create a file and copy one of the example python script which is this strand test here
Then, we create a file called ws2812d ring.py Then, insert what we have copied. The only changes here that we are going to be needing is we need to change the LED count from 16 to 12 since my ring has only 12 LEDs. Save, save that one. And then to run the program, we execute sudo python3 to i want to ring. And then we'll be able to see the output of the command while the ring the Python code is executing. So there are lots of uh, this uh, LED is capable of producing different sets of light and we we'll just need to control each of the LEDs because that's the power of the WS2812 B LED you can we can address each of the LED and control the output okay that's about it thank you have fun exploring